Is this the last turn of Perish Song as well? I think it is. So depending on how much poison damage Azumarill takes, oh my god, at the very last possible moment, the poison takes down Azumarill. So Electivire and Elekid have clutched their way into the semifinals. That is incredible. Welcome back to Metromania. The tournament has been absolutely wild so far. We are finally in the semi-finals. Just three more rounds until we find out who our champion is going to be. And the semi-finals look like they're going to be incredible. Of course, this is the first of the semi-finals this week where we're going to see Snorlax and Munchlax taking on Togekiss and Togepi. So here we go, semi-final one of Metromania Season 11 is underway. Let's get this thing bloody started. This should be absolutely fantastic. Both these teams have had really good runs so far. Togekiss is going to start off this semi-final matchup with Fury Cutter, which is avoided by Snorlax. That's unfortunate. So here comes Snorlax now with the reply, which will be Aromatherapy, which is a waste of a turn. So that's kind of unfortunate. Over to Togepi, I suppose. Can we get a successful move used in the semi-final? Close combat, which is going to be super effective on Snorlax. A great chunk of damage there. Bearing in mind, this is from a Togepi. Great job by Togepi there. There, but it is going to run the risk, lowering its defense and special defense by one stage. So a risky play, but a great one nonetheless. Here comes Munchlax, who's going to go for Steel Roller, but there's no terrain in effect to get rid of with the Steel Roller. So unfortunately, that is going to be ineffective. So Togepi, the only Pokemon to actually achieve a move in the first round of this semi-final battle. Here we see Togekiss, though. Better luck this time. Goes for Leech Seed, which is going to land on the Munchlax there, slowly sapping away at the health of Munchlax and restoring Togekiss's HP at the end of each turn. Here we see Snorlax with spikes, which is another wasted turn. Snorlax really can't get out of the gate right now. That's unfortunate, but can Munchlax follow up? I guess we'll find out after Togepi's turn. Togepi is going to go for Dream Eater, but no one's asleep, so it's a wasted turn. Over to Munchlax. Can Munchlax do anything here? It's going to go for False Swipe, which is same type attack bonus. Not a great deal of base power, but did a decent chunk of damage there to Togekiss. Although the Leech Seed is about to cancel most of that out. Takes a big chunk of HP away from the Munchlax, restores it right back up on the Togekiss, so it's as if nothing happened. That's really unfortunate, but that Leech Seed paying dividends for Togekiss already in this battle. Speaking of Togekiss, here it comes with Nightshade. Doesn't affect Snorlax because Snorlax is immune to ghost-type moves, being a normal type, of course. Now Munchlax goes for Purified. That is going to fail. This is a very much back-and-forth failed move-a-thon right now. We see Scary Face coming out from Togepi, which is going to lower the speed of Snorlax by two stages here. So Snorlax, I think, might be slower than Togepi now, potentially. Here comes Munchlax, though, who's going to go for Iron Head. That will be super effective on whichever Pokemon to choose on, on Togekiss, massive damage. It's saying, restore that damage, you bar stool. Yeah, so let's go with bar stool so YouTube doesn't get too angry. There we see the Leech Seed, though, sapping away at Munchlax, restoring HP to Togekiss. You can restore my HP by subscribing to this channel and turning on all notifications. I would really appreciate that. Drop a like on the video as well if you're enjoying it. Here's Assurance from Togekiss. That's going to land on Snorlax there for a little tiny bit of chip damage, but not a great deal of worry on the face of Snorlax right now. Togepi follows up with a Defense Curl, going to restore its uh, defense back up to maximum. It's still at Minus one special defense for those keeping score. And then it's over to Munchlax. No, it's over to Snorlax, I should say, because of that scary face speed drop. Snorlax is going to go for agility, though, and restore his speed right back up. So I won't make that same mistake next turn, will I? Thank you, Snorlax. Thanks a bunch. Over to Munchlax now. What's Munchlax got on its mind here? Is it going to continue its offensive onslaught? It's going to do goes for infestation. On to Togekiss there. So that's going to sap away at Togekiss itself. Unfortunately for uh, Munchlax, it's not going to restore the, uh, the HP to Munchlax. It's just going to damage Togekiss. But it cancels out that Leech Seed restorative power. So until Munchlax is off the field, Togekiss is going to continue to feel the effects of that infestation. And, of course, it's going to get restored by the Leech Seed kind of in between. It's a bit of a mishmash. Someone can do the real maths, but... There's only a few turns left in either of these Pokemon. We see Thunder from Togekiss, though, which is going to land on Munchlax for a big chunk of damage there. I don't know with that critical hit. I, and the Paralysis as well on Munchlax there. Great move by Togekiss, but I don't know why you didn't go for the Snorlax. The Munchlax was giving you guaranteed HP restoring. 
which even with Infestation on would be a little bit of a help. Snorlax goes for Fake Tears and reduces the special defense of Togepi down to minus three now. Togepi best uh, do its best to avoid any potential uh, special attacks there. Goes for Thunderfang on the Munchlax. I don't know why this team are trying to get rid of Munchlax. I know that, obviously, they need to get rid of both the Pokemon, but Munchlax is guaranteed to have its HP drained by the Leech Seed and help Togekiss along the way. We see the Defog from Munchlax reducing the evasiveness of Togepi. And now we see Togekiss restoring its HP just a little bit with the Leech Seed while sapping it away from Munchlax. Munchlax has got like one or so turns left. There's the infestation from Munchlax though on Togekiss, dealing just a little tiny bit of damage, kind of negating the... Um the Leech Seed restoring there. Here comes Togekiss, though. Togekiss is starting off the next turn with Autotomize. So it's going to increase its speed and become nimble, I think. I believe. It's been a while. We get two stages of speed, and Togekiss is now nimble. Look at that. Here comes Snorlax. Snorlax is going to fire back with Torment. Great play, because you're going to force Togepi every other turn to damage itself with 25% of its max HP as recoil damage. So not a bad shout there from Snorlax. Togepi goes for Block, which is a wasted turn. Just stops Pokemon from escaping in a battle where no one can escape anyway. So Togepi has wasted its turn. Munchlax is fully paralyzed and cannot move. As the Leech Seed saps away, Munchlax has one turn left in it, just three hit points. There's the HP restored to Togekiss, and there is the Infestation taking it right away from Togekiss. But it's about, Togekiss is about to be free from Infestation anyway, because Munchlax is not long for this world in this round of this Metromania semi-final. Togekiss is going to go for Rapid Spin onto Snorlax there. And of course, that's going to increase its speed by one stage and free it from infestation. I did not know Rapid Spin did that. I knew it got rid of hazards, but I didn't realize it got rid of infestation. Here's Present from Snorlax. Shades of Delibird there. Is it going to deal damage? It's not. It's going to heal Togekiss back up to maximum HP. Bearing in mind, Togekiss has... Um, Leech Seed on as well, and is free from infestation, so Togekiss is going to end this turn on full HP. The Struggle deals a little bit of damage to Snorlax from uh, Togepi, that was 25% of its max HP is recoil damage. The Leech Seed takes down the Paralyzed Munchlax, and it's all up to Snorlax now to try and turn this battle around. It is suffering greatly. If it can land a special attack on Togepi, it'll it's probably guaranteed to knock it out at this point with minus three uh, special defense on Togepi. Here is the Clanging Scale from Togekiss, dealing a little bit of chip damage there to Snorlax, but also reducing the defense of Togekiss by one stage, which Snorlax could take advantage of as it goes for Spark, which is an Electric-type attack. Use it on Togepi. That was a mistake there. That would have been fantastic on Togekiss. Super effective and all that. Here's a False Swipe avoided by Snorlax, so Togepi does not land its hit. But Snorlax is not in the greatest of positions here. Togekiss is going to start off the next turn, and what is it going to do? It's going to go for Stomp onto Snorlax, maybe hoping to flinch it. Doing not a great deal of damage, but it is just enough to put Snorlax into that danger zone there. And now Snorlax is going to fire back with Spore. Great move there. Using Spore on Togepi to take Togepi out of the competition for just a little bit whilst it deals with the Togekiss. That's not a bad shout at all by Snorlax. That's a great play. And now let's see what Togekiss is going to do. I can't believe it's at full HP at this point of the battle. Absolute insanity. Togekiss has been very, very lucky. As it goes for a present of its own, is it going to heal up Snorlax? Is it going to return the favor? No. It's going to damage Snorlax and bring it very, very close to fainting. Snorlax is going to fire back with a Dazzling Gleam, which of course is a special attack. It'll be neutral on both these Pokemon. Big hit on Togepi. Putting Togepi in the danger zone. Of course, Togepi is still fast asleep. Little bit of damage there to Togekiss. But I think Togepi and Togekiss might have this round in the bag. Here comes Togekiss with the metronome. Going for Power Gem. That's got to be it. That's got to be round one. Taking down Snorlax. There it goes. Let's hear from our sponsors. Oi! You! Buy G Fuel and use code ACE when you do. For every 18 only, contains caffeine. Because it contains caffeine, drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead, dickhead. And welcome back to round two. So Snorlax and Munchlax are trailing zero to one against Togekiss and Togepi. So if Togepi... Togepiss, I've done it again. Togepiss. If Togekiss... <laughs> Hashtag Togepiss. If Togekiss and Togepi... Oh, Parabolic Charge to start. That is going to damage Togepi, though. Unfortunate there. Big damage to Togepi as well. If Togepi and Togekiss 
can win this round. They guarantee their place in the final as Snorlax goes for an Aura Sphere that is going to be resisted by Togepi. Of course, Fairy types resist Fighting type moves. But if Snorlax and Munchlax can win this round, they at least get a chance. They at least stay in the game. So this is a very important round. The Calm Mind from Togepi is going to increase its def uh, special defense and its special attack by one stage apiece. People are going to be very annoyed that I said it that way around. My sincere apologies. And here comes Munchlax, who's going to go for Mystical Fire. Looking to lower special attack, I suppose. Does a little bit of damage to Togepi, but also lowers special attack back down to normal. So Togepi is now at plus one special defense, but no other stats increased or decreased, I guess. And here is Togekiss, who's going to go for Water Shuriken. Shades of Greninja there. Onto Munchlax. Gets the one hit. Gets the two hits there. Just two hits on that Water Shuriken. Snorlax looks ready to fire back, though. And it's going to go for Final Gambit. That's a big balls play right there. Onto Togekiss, arguably the strongest member of its team. So Snorlax is gone. Togekiss is gone as well. It's all up to Munchlax and Togepi to decide which way the semi-final battle is going to go. So Togepi has a lot of pressure on it here as it goes for Bullet Seed against Munchlax because now Togepi has to clean, clean this battle out. They don't want Snorlax and Munchlax to equalize, so Togepi really needs to pull its finger out. And actually, I, I suppose, mate, how many hits on this Bullet Seed right now? Are we at four? I think that's the fifth hit from that Bullet Seed. Five hits. Togepi means business. The pressure on Munchlax has got to be incredible right now because if it loses this round, its team is out of the game and fighting for pride. Here's another present. Lots of gift giving today. Lots of presents. Does a decent chunk of damage there to Togepi, though. Munchlax not willing to be underestimated. Here is Togepi, though. Togepi is going to fire off a Spirit Shackle. Doesn't affect Munchlax. Munchlax is immune to ghost-type moves. Now Munchlax has an opportunity as it goes for high horsepower. Continuing its offensive right here. Good damage. Togepi is in the danger zone. Munchlax could even this up very, very easily at this point. Togepi is in a little bit of danger here. What's Togepi going to do? It's going to go for Storm Throw. That will be super effective and a guaranteed critical hit. It's a good chunk of damage there to Munchlax, bringing Munchlax past the halfway point of its HP. But Munchlax is still very much in this battle. What is Munchlax going to do? It's going to go for Brave Bird. And how much damage will this Brave Bird do to little Togepi? It's enough to even it up. So Munchlax saves its team in this Metromania semi-final. Munchlax and Snorlax are still here. That was a ballsy play that, ple that really paid off. So Munch, uh, Snorlax had absolute faith in its partner, Munchlax, and that was beautiful to see. You love to see that kind of teamwork. Here's Togekiss, though, who goes for Tail Slap. It's avoided by Munchlax. And now over to Snorlax to start off round three of the semifinal with Burning Jealousy. And it's going to land on both its opponents there. Good chunk of chip damage there. No burns, though, unfortunately, for Snorlax. And there we see Guillotine from Togepi. It's going to land! Guillotine onto Snorlax. Just like Snorlax took itself out in the previous round, Togepi says, no, you go away. I'm done with you. It's all up to Munchlax to take down Togekiss and Togepi. That's an incredible play by Togepi. Munchlax goes for the lock on on Togepi. Probably wants some kind of revenge right there because that just made this game so much harder for Munchlax. Munchlax has such an uphill battle right now because Togepi has taken Snorlax down in a single hit with Guillotine. Here we see Sub Substitute from Togekiss wants to put a little bit more pressure on Munchlax there, sacrificing a bit of its own HP just to put a wall effectively between Munchlax and Togekiss. Here we see Luster Purge from Togepi starting off its offensive onto Munchlax there. Let's see how much damage it does though. Munchlax, of course, quite a bulky little boy though, especially with his um Especially with his Eviolite in play. Its special defense has dropped by one stage, though. Here it goes with the Hammer Arm, which is not very effective. Oh, and it's four times resisted by Togekiss, so barely any damage landing on that substitute there. Critical hit as well, but I really don't think it mattered. Down goes the speed of Munchlax, so it's still the slowest thing on the field right now. So it has to suffer the attacks of Togepi and Togekiss at the start of every single turn before it has a chance to try and fix its situation. Here comes Togekiss, though, who's going 
going to go for Assurance from behind that substitute. Let's see how much damage Togekiss can do. It's not really a physical attacker, so not a great deal of damage there to Munchlax, but any damage is better than no damage. They are slowly wearing it down. That was a critical hit as well. It didn't do much at all. Here comes Togepi, though. Togepi is going to go for Solar Beam, so it's going to prepare itself. It's going to absorb some light, and it's going to continue with Solar Beam on the next turn. Although Munchlax has pretty good special defense, so I don't think it's too worried about a Solar Beam from a Togepi. Tried to go for a Sweet Kiss. Unfortunately, it failed, so it must have been going for Togekiss behind the uh, Substitute. And now, speaking of Togekiss behind the Substitute, here it is, getting ready with that Metronome. And what's it going to choose? It's going to go for Charm. That is not good for Munchlax. Taking some of the firepower away from Munchlax there. Limited as it already is. So there we see the stat drop. Down goes its attack by two stages. Munchlax is in a bad position. It really needs a one-hit KO move like Sheer Cold or Guillotine or something. There's the Solar Beam from Togepi doing a bit more chip damage. Another critical hit, though. The Togepi and Togekiss team are just... Critical hit city at the moment. Munchlax is going to go for Future Sight, preparing for a later turn. Not a bad shout. Future Sight obviously has a good, good base power behind it. But this battle is looking so difficult for Munchlax. I can't even begin to try and understand what Munchlax must be feeling without Snorlax at its side. Togekiss rearing and ready to go. Goes for Bug Bite onto the Munchlax there. Let's see how much damage it gets off. Not quite enough to bring it down to less than half its max HP, but it's getting very, very close. Here comes Togepi, ready and raring with Outrage. That's guaranteed to last at least two turns. It might even last three turns, and that's a big chunk of damage to Munchlax. Munchlax needs to deal with Togepi ASAP, or do something to stop it. It's going for submission. That's not going to be very effective on Togepi and comes with recoil damage. So that's not a great play there by Munchlax if you know that Togepi is going to be going for Outrage on the next turn. Here comes Togekiss to start off that next turn. What's it going to do? Togekiss is going to go for Shadow Claw. That doesn't affect Munchlax, so Munchlax gets lucky. There's the Outrage from Togepi once again. It pushes Munchlax into that danger zone. Munchlax has got to deal with the Togepi. The Togepi is well and truly a oh, raw was a bad move. Here's the Future Sight attack onto Togepi for a decent chunk of chip damage there, but not enough power behind it to take out Togepi. We know it's going to outrage this turn. It all depends really on what Togekiss decides to do. And Togekiss is going to go for Grassy Terrain, which is an interesting play there because that won't heal Togekiss. It'll heal Togepi at the end of each turn, and it'll heal Munchlax at the end of each turn because they're the grounded Pokemon. But it has no effect on Togekiss, so that's a really interesting, generous play, I suppose. If Munchlax can survive this outrage from Togepi, though, it's massive damage, but it's not quite enough. Munchlax survives at eight hit points. Togepi is confused due to fatigue from the outrage, so now Munchlax has a chance to maybe heal itself. Goes for beat up. That's not very effective, and you've only got one team member, so that barely tickled Togepi there. But of course, there we're going to see the grassy terrain heal Togepi a little bit. In fact, heal Togepi more than the damage of the beat up the Munchlax used. There's Munchlax getting healed a little bit as well. Only 21 hit points left and two very worthy opponents right now. Here comes Togekiss. Does it sense a victory? What's on Togekiss's mind? Going to go for Rock Wrecker, which feels like such overkill. Togekiss is going to use Rock Wrecker on Munchlax and secure a victory. Our first finalists are Togekiss and Togepi. What a battle this was. That was unbelievable. So many of us, myself included, had Snorlax and Munchlax as favorites to make it to the final, if not win the entire tournament, and they didn't manage it. Togepi and Togekiss go through to the final. We'll find out their opponents next week as Magmortar and Magby take on Electivire and Elekid. So thank you for watching yet another episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash Ace Trainer Liam for all of my live streams and use code Ace to save money on G Fuel. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.